1974, a piece of research was published that was very influential on policy. This 1974 book, What Works, by Robert Martinson, concluded that nothing was effective in reducing the criminal behaviour of criminals. This resulted in the cancellation of rehabilitation programmes in the United States and other countries across the world. However, in fact, evidence has started to come out barely a decade later, a meta-analysis showed that there were various programmes that indeed were effective in reducing crime. In 1993, two scholars who later became associated with the Campbell Collaboration, Mark Lips and David Wilson, published a review of meta-analysis across a wide range of social programmes, including 10 programmes for re-offenders. And they found that all 10 of those programmes were effective in reducing crime. A new policy brief published by the Campbell Collaboration summarises the findings from 12 systematic reviews published by Campbell that reinforce this finding. First of all, we show that it's better not to get engaged with the criminal justice system at all, that youth who are diverted through pre-court diversion programmes are less likely to go on and re-offend than those that do get engaged in the court system. Second, for those that do get engaged in the prison system, is non-custodial sentences, non sentences are at least as good as sending people to prison in terms of reducing re-offending and may even actually be better. If people are sent to prison, it's very clear that harsh prison regimes like boot camps have um, no beneficial effects. And in fact, whilst not a sentencing program, scared straight programs that show young people what prison life is like are actually more likely to make those children, those youth criminals, than children not exposed to scared straight programs. On the other hand, a wide range of programs designed to rehabilitate prisoners, such as drug courts, drug rehabilitation programs, cognitive behavioural therapy for sex offenders and restorative justice programs that bring criminals face to face with the victims of their crime all have positive significant effects in reducing, um, re in reducing re offending. So the fact is that prison populations around the world are growing. There's been a 20% increase in prison populations since the year 2000, but that growth in prison population is running contrary to the evidence. We want to have less crime, which have fewer people being sent to prison, not more. And when we do send people to prison, the evidence is very clear that rehabilitation programmes are effective in reducing crime.